What's going down everybody, Saris here with my first official Planet Side 2 video. I am extremely excited because this game I've been taking a look at for quite some time and after having played it during the Christmas break, I wanted to go ahead and start off a brand new character, Battle Rank 1, new conglomerate on US West Helios as a way to go ahead and get started giving you guys the most tips that I can possibly give you to become an awesome FPS gamer. So right off the bat, you're going to drop pot in if this is your first character. You want to go ahead and definitely make sure that you understand what color you are you are blue the enemies are red we just lost a facility right here and it is a extremely hot zone so immediately I aim down my sights I see a guy kind of camping there flat-footed kill two of them and one thing about when you start you're gonna always start as a light assault so you have a jetpack to facilitate that you hold space and you can actually launch yourself up in the air to be able to defend yourself and even get away from opponents it's also a really great mechanic to ambush enemies and you're gonna see that in just one second so right here I'm just waiting for my shields to regen you can see that right below that blue bar there I have a red bar that means I only have a single little blip of health left so I am just about to die and right here I caught a guy flat-footed on the stairwell battle rank 2 baby we're rocking and rolling I'd see some tracer rounds I want to get the heck out of dodge here I go ahead and blindside another guy and TR there wasn't seeing it coming now right there real quickly you saw there was five six enemies all trained on that bridge side guarding that entrance and right there I'm like I'm gonna have none of that I'm gonna try to see if I can subvert and get myself out of the way it's really important that you pick and choose your fights because the NC even though they did get a recent weapon buff still have the underdog class weapons in my opinion and in many others opinion as well that's why you have to make sure that you get the jump on your enemies now right here things are gonna kind of go downhill from here I did wanted to go ahead and bug out so I could get away from all of the enemies. Unfortunately, I am compromised at this point, so I start taking rounds here. I try to go ahead and do a little bit of zigzagging and making use of my jetpack to make myself an even harder target. Unfortunately, I am in an enormous kill zone because the enemies are right behind me above on the ledge, so they're on overwatch. And as I'm just about to get across the ridge to go ahead and fall back, I get killed by a Ram 50 cal user. That is an awesome rifle, by the way. The equivalent to the NC weapon would be the LA-80, or many people like to call it the eight, the Lady, because <laughs> it just does so much damage. So I did get out sniped here. We are at risk of getting warp gated, meaning that we are losing control of all of our points at this point. And I'm going ahead and spawning into the nearest adjacent base to try to see if I can help add to the defense layer. But as I'm just about to turn around and head out the base, I noticed that a drop pod had just jumped down and I didn't see a friendly indicator and it looked like our point alpha did start getting capped. Sure enough, there was an enemy right there ready trying to take the point from us right from behind us. I was able to stall him momentarily, but now after having recapped the point, I went ahead and left the base to my friendlies and I wanted to go ahead and work my way upwards so that way I could try to see if we can expand and try to prevent our base getting completely capped. And after mopping up that single attacker that tried to take our base, I headed eastbound across the road to try to take this Terran Held Tower. It's very open out here, so you have to be very careful and make sure that you are zigzagging as much as possible. Make yourself a hard target, but always make sure that you can keep yourself under concealment hills elevation make sure that you're very careful and you always want to make sure that you're using your sound right here I kind of slow down just a little bit to see if there's any threats any airborne threats any tanks anything that you can hear if you can even hear the slight rumble of treads across the road and you don't see any friendlies nearby you can pretty much bet your bottom dollar there's gonna be a tank inbound and it might have already seen you and that's never a good thing so right here you can see I'm I, I always like to go by the motto definitely be cautious do not mess around try to be as cautious as possible we have a friendly that moves up with us as well he crosses the road very quickly for myself I like to try to see if I can trace the outskirts of a specific area I'd never like to get myself caught into kill zones like the one that I just unfortunately jetpacked down earlier you saw me get killed by three of those guys on overwatch so right now I'm just very careful I'm looking up there's also the launch pads that you have to be very careful and right there I saw a little bit of a silhouette of a figure there I started just burst firing ever so slightly to try to put some rounds down range on that guy sure enough I was waiting for him to pop up he pops up again he was trying to see, I think he was trying to see where the bullets were coming from I think he saw me but again he still continues to engage that tank which is fine it's actually working out very well now at this point I don't want to stay around too long because 
Honestly, a sniper could probably get some hot sights and put a round through my head like the <laughs> the Ram 50 Cal user did earlier. So at this point now, I'm going to go ahead and risk it and try to go ahead and see if I can get up close because my weapon is designated to close to medium range. Friendly is moving up here. I wait for him to get ready. He's going to go ahead and breach right. I go ahead and breach left just to go ahead and cover myself and cover my teammate as well. We're going to go ahead and try to hit the top side. Now right there, you can see there are terminals as well. Those are enemy terminals because they're painted red. If they were painted blue, they would be mine. But uh, because we can't use them, we have to go ahead and move our way back up to Alpha. And this is the point, basically. I'm trying to go ahead and move in with my buddy here. And instead of going directly into the point and risking getting us both killed, I go ahead and wait here at the stairwell to try to see if I can go and provide some cover. It's always good to ambush because... The NC weaponry is not nearly as superior as the Vanu technology, and I believe that it only now has been buffed to kind of fight against the TR a little bit more effectively. Regardless, what makes the NC weaponry so fun to use, almost got a nade here, and you can see the power of ambush. It is extremely effective. Getting back, you can see that there's another tango here, or a bad guy. I'm sorry, it's a bad habit from Rainbow Six. All I know is that I went ahead and put a couple hip fire rounds in him. Now right here is where you have to kind of improvise. If you can find any way to try to be able to subvert and confuse your enemy, you're going to get the upper hand. You want as many advantages as possible. Now right there I saw another guy flat footed, was able to go ahead and put some rounds in him very quickly. You can see that as I'm killing enemies, I'm ducking out as fast as possible to get myself into a defensive situation. I'm one of these types of characters that really enjoys the aspect of being able to keep people flat footed and keep them guessing as to where I'm at. It's just a good habit to get into. I remember this from my Battlefield 1942 Desert Combat mod days with Rabbit Clan. Props by the way if you guys are out there listening. But honestly, these guys taught me and they built me from the ground up to really focus on the adversarial aspect. Because anybody can click and aim and have a point and click adventure, but very few people can actually strategize and actualize their strategies on the go. And that's one of those things that you really want to make sure that you're doing. Now right here you notice that I'm constantly zigzagging. I don't want to give a sniper or any kind of marksman a clear shot, especially tanks. By being able to mess up their reticles, their splash radius likely won't be able to kill you in a single hit. Usually it'll take a follow-up shot. Now right here, as you are taking corners, you definitely want to aim down your sight. I like to call it ADSing, and a lot of other gamers like to do that too, because it gives you full accuracy. You can see that when I'm firing from the hip, the crosshair is pretty wide, but when you go ahead and zoom in, you can see that the crosshair goes nice and tight. So the only thing you have to worry about at this point is recoil and also making sure that you are compensating for the horizontal uh, recoil as well. So at this point now, you can see that I'm very cautious. I don't like to go directly into points. There could be mines there. There could be all sorts of nasty stuff. Speaking of which, if people are enjoying this video and you want to see some more as well, let me know, guys, because I want to go ahead and share with you a more three-dimensional view of how to become a more competitive gamer as well. And this also... These tips that I provide here are also going to cater into just about any game FPS oriented that you're going to play, even co-op games, because it all requires thinking on your feet and trying to be as mobile as possible. Now right here, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't being followed. In addition with that, I also wanted to set up any sort of ambush that I could in case I heard footsteps or in case any of my friendly teammates were on their way up. But sure enough, it is just me surrounded i think i have about two to three enemies as well that are not listed on that map there that are all kind of hunting and defending this base so my goal is to try to be able to very carefully and very cautiously make my way through to the next area i'm trying to head towards c real quickly you can see that through the wall and right now i'm just making use of concealment because if the enemy can't see you, they can't shoot you. That's the most important thing that I can probably recommend. Now with this rifle, which is the standard engineer as well as standard light assault weapon, I think it's called the Goss Compact something. I can't remember what it's called. Regardless though, you definitely want to keep it on full auto and you want to go ahead and burst fire. Single fire might be a good idea as well, but for the most part, you want to definitely make sure that you are conserving your ammo and being really careful in how you aim. The reason why is because of your mag size. You only have 30 rounds to your mag versus the TR weapons that actually have like 40 rounds. So they can actually put 10 more rounds down range than you can. You have to make sure that you're going for headshots at the very least, you want to make sure that your shots are connecting because the main goal that you want to do, if anything, you want to go ahead and act as a deterrent as well. If you're 
able to go ahead and bust the enemy shields, they're not likely to press their attack. They're probably going to be retreating around a corner. That can buy you valuable seconds to go ahead and drop an ammo pack, to go ahead and suppress the target for your, your team, and also be able to even set yourself up so you can counterattack and you can ambush. So right here, I don't like to enter through doorways because they are very much so easy to shoot through. You can see there, it just opened. There's no doors in the system. Right there, I do start taking rounds. And as you can see how easy it is to be able to detect Enemy enemies when they move around through door doorways. So right here, I know that that would be a bad thing because I would have eaten a grenade if I got too cocky. So I go up to the second level where there's another opening. Now, windows are good and bad at the same time because you can see he was right on top. He knew I was going to either go from the bottom level or the top. And sure enough, there was a grenade that got sent through that window. So at this point, I have a feeling this guy's going to start pressing his attack. I go and fall back a little bit because I want to go ahead and make sure that what I'm doing is maximizing my chances of survival. This is some really good tips and the reason why I'm doing this instead of redeploying to another base or trying to just hit the crown or you know hit a place that's just a high volume of, of, uh, of people is because I wanted to show you these intrinsic tips that many people skip out on and this is why they're not as effective and that's why they get frustrated in the game. Right there you can see how important it was to use your sound. I had a guy creeping right behind me. He didn't even see me until it was too late and I had already put a full half a mag in him. Now right there you always want to be situationally aware. I went ahead and pushed Q to spot him and right now I'm going ahead and setting myself up defensively. I figured he would come through this firing lane downstairs but sure enough I think I heard him upstairs. At this point I wanted to go and see if I could ambush him around the stairs. Sure enough we're playing ring around the rosy but you want to stay as alert as possible. Now right here I'm going to go ahead and try to get Get around this corner made sure a quick scan said that everything was okay and watch to the right side he comes right through that right door and i take a couple rounds to the head i almost died but sure enough i was able to get the jump on him because i strafed around that corner i had a feeling he might have a buddy with him so i went ahead and fell back to just get my shields repaired again you can see i'm very low on health yet again and I'm making use of cover as much as possible. Now at this point now, I went to go back to Charlie to try to see if I could cap it to try to focus their attention to bring them over here so they had to recap it. But uh, sure enough, by this time we had already lost adjacency, meaning that there were no adjacent bases to connect to this one, meaning that what I was doing essentially became a futile attack. So I wanted to go ahead and restock myself. At this point I found a nice crevice here. It's easily defendable. And it's very unlikely that people would be attacking you from the top side. So I went ahead and dropped an ammo pack. That's a really nice perk that engineers get to do. You can just see the map here. It's just all red. The Terran Republic had just completely steamrolled us on Isimir here. And they're doing a really, really good job against the Vanu as well. So you can see that there's really no adjacent bases for me. I'm really deep in. And at this point now, I figured, you know what, I'm just going to probably call the quits here. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to hear what you guys think. If you want to see some more PlanetSide 2 footage, I want to go ahead and give you as many tips as I can. And I want this channel, I want Sarius Games to be more three-dimensional than just co-op games. I want to go ahead and bring some element of the competitive aspect to it because that's really where my background was. I'm not saying that I'm a pro gamer by any means. There are plenty of people that can wipe the floor with me. But straight up, dudes, I just wanted to go ahead and share what I know to make your gaming experience much more enjoyable in any game that you play. So everybody, if you like this video, please do me a favor, guys. Please give that like button a little bit of love. And if you want to subscribe for more videos, please do that as well, guys. I want to hear your feedback. Rock steady, everybody. This is Sarius. We'll catch you guys on the flip side, and hopefully we'll have better luck tomorrow. Peace out, y'all.